Going on, Blair the car guys. Just got back home, like literally just got back home. Uh, just came from ARG Pittsburgh, uh, top eight. It was my fourth top, so finally on the list. So um, couldn't uh, fully finish it out. I got unfortunate in uh, top eight. He opened broken, but I ended up playing Cosmos, even though as much hate as I gave with the deck after the current uh, Forbidden and Limited list, this was one of the best choices to go with. Uh, it was either this or BA. But I just felt more confident with um, the Cosmos, actually, like some broken plays. And also just getting ready for uh, Shot of Victory to come out with this. It's probably going to be one of the better decks to play. Um, pretty much matchups. I played a lot of BA uh, in Swiss and Top. I think I played like three BA. I had two first round. I had two buys as well. So kind of made a little short um, Swiss rounds. But I played two BAs in Swiss. Uh, one PK was the one, was the one I lost to. And I ended up beating him in top 16. Another, uh, I think, pure variant. I didn't know it was another PK, uh, PK variant. I played Water. I played against two Monarchs, one um, extra deck, and one pure. And I think that was it. Pretty sure that was it. Top 16, I played um, PKBA. Um, the one I lost to in round three. Ended up beating him. And then top eight, I uh, played another PKBA, which I won the game three and lost. Um, he just opened the insane, and I couldn't do anything to out three Dantes and three traps going second. But let's get into the list. Yeah. The Blair token. You already know. Hey, Peter. All right, so we play three tin can staple. Uh, one straw man. Of course, you need this um, to do your plays with Dark Destroyer, and then still a pilot to tag out with. Uh, just two farm girl. And I needed that three. Uh, this weekend we ended up playing two straw man. Um, I didn't want to play three. I didn't feel like it was need to max out um, three straw man, uh, three sword troopers, and also with the lure of darkness is broken. And then just the combos you can do. I did a really uh, sick combo uh, with sword troopers. I think round seven, and I'll tell you about it when I get to the other card. Uh, played two wicked witch uh, staple. Really, really good, especially playing around a uh, system down. Um, this comes in clutch and the mirror match. Uh, three slip riders staple. Play one dog fighter, um, of course for another alert target, and then also in the mirror match. I didn't play any mirror matches this weekend, but in the mirror match, like if you crash down on, sh on ships, if they're crashing down on you, you go into this when they go into their when they go into their slip rider, and they can't get over it. Then also getting tokens um, during each player standby phase is really really good, especially in the. Monarch mirror match. One of my, I mean, not the Monarch mirror match, but Monarch match. I played against Domain Monarchs, actually. And, like, literally game one, I had uh, number 38, this, and three tokens, and I attacked for game with it. Played two Forerunners. I would definitely like, uh, we decided to play two as opposed to one, like, just with the crash down effect, like, and then also with Straw Man. You send one of these. And then once you get to your dark destroyer and you have to go down, you have another big target to go into. If you even if you if you already sent one to the graveyard, then gaining a thousand life points um, really comes clutch because you pay a lot with this deck. Uh, three dark destroyer because it's broken and we like destroying people with darkness. Uh, t <laughs> two max C. Um, I expected to see a lot of BA and a lot of Cosmo mirror matches, so we decided to main the two max C, uh, especially against BA. Uh, if you do this, if you have this with them, they either have to keep going to give you a lot of cards or they stop their play with like one Dante or something. And then you just literally just destroy them, especially if they're playing a Terror Top version because they means they don't have anything under anything free under their Dante, especially if their meals are bad. And when you're climbing down in the mirror match. True, um, but no mirror matches. But that's all the monsters. Spells, um, 3K Town. Um, this is a really good card. Uh, two e Telly because Konami decided to touch. Um, Cosmos, two allure of darkness. I really did like this card. Um, it gives you, it lets you uh, further your engine. Um, get like, pretty much your draw cards for Cosmos, and then you just banish your dark and get it back with Cosmo Town. So it's pretty free. Like you don't really don't lose anything from this. So how many times did you uh, use the first allure and draw to the second allure this weekend? A good bit, and it got me there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we decided to make one twin twister. We expected a lot of people to. Especially BA and Cosmos to play a lot of play back row and the other decks as well And we just wanted to out their back row the play I was talking about earlier with the sword troopers. I was playing against uh, Cos I was playing against BA and he had a Dante a Terra top Dante because I'm actually 
He had a teardrop Dante, uh, one back row and pass turn. My hand was like Cosmo Town, like Sword Trooper, and Allure of Darkness or something like that. So I Allure, draw two cards, uh, banish, uh, banish the Sword Trooper, get it back, use Cosmo Town, shovel some other things, trying to get to uh, either an e Telly or a Farm Girl, because I had this in hand. So I finally do that for a couple of times, another Allure, uh, use second Cosmo Town, shuffle back. I finally get a, uh, after second Cosmo Town shuffle, I get uh, Farm Girl and Dark Destroyer in my hand. Now Dark Destroyer wasn't needed. Um, actually, but it just made it even better. So, I twin twister. I pitched the farm girl, destroying my Cosmo Town, and his uh, face is a uh, face down, which happened to be a Vanity's emptiness. So I get to search. I search another uh, Dark Destroyer, uh, just because normal summon Sword Trooper. Uh, you pay a thousand special summon Farm Girl, banish the Sword Trooper, um, Dark Destroyer, pop his Dante. There's nothing for him to get, so it doesn't matter. And then I just go for game right there, and it was just really, really free. I just wish I would have seen this more. If I would have seen this in my uh, top eight match, then I probably would have had a better chance um, of winning. And that's all the spells. Uh, traps, three Cosmojo. I really, really like this card. Um, especially when you got when you have big ships, it lets you disrupt your opponent's plays. Especially in phase. Like in phase, big ship, you like banish one of their monsters or one of their back row. You can go into a slip rider. Uh, you go into a dog fighter, get tokens on your standby phase. And just, like, this helps you out multiple things, and it's really, really good. I really like three Cosmo Joe. Uh, three Call of the Haunted with 10 can uh, plays. Uh, get your ships back. Common. <laughs> <laughs> Very super, actually. Um, this weekend, uh, we did uh, decide to main two Chaos Trap Holes. Uh, we thought this was, like, once again, we decided, expected to see a lot of BA, uh, a lot of Cosmos. So going first... Um, with your uh, tin can, you open tin can and like calls, and then this as well. In the mirror match, they do their normal summon. You chaos trap hold them. Yeah, they might have Cosmo Town, but you stop their uh, normal summon. And if they don't have uh, E Telly, which it, it's kind of harder because it's at two. If they don't have E Telly, then their play is like just stopped, and then you can just go for game the next turn. So, and then against BA, you stop their uh, Dante, you stop their Beatrice. Like it's broken, like how, especially banishing those. How many did you hit this weekend? I hit a I hit a good bit. I hit a good bit. So I, I do like this card. <laughs> I might probably still gonna play this, especially going into uh, after Shining Victories. I expect to see a lot more Cosmos. And it was also actually it was this was actually really good against Monarch. My the domain Monarch uh, player I played, like I resolved this twice on him and he could not play. Like especially once after after they normal summon, like this stops them. And my last three traps, I played two strikes and. One morning strike was okay. It was actually was pretty good. I was expecting this for the mirror match. It really doesn't do anything against BA and Monarchs and then the possible pendulum uh, players. Um, of course, hit their pendulum uh, pendulum summon. But if I played against uh, either Monarchs or Burning Abyss, I would just side these out. And just warning is good against everything, and even against like mirror match, E Telly, normal summon, or whatever. But that's the main deck. It's 40 cards. Uh, we're going to the extra deck really, really quickly. Um, I think I went. In, I went into four things um, this whole weekend. So Levier didn't make it. Break sword just in case didn't make it. Utopia package. I had a chance to make it, but it wasn't needed. Um, Pallades didn't make it. Uh, I won a game two in top 16 with Vocal Source because he got so low. He's down to 600. So I made this and gamed him. Uh, Nova and Infinity. I made this, made these two like twice, I believe. Uh, I actually, I did make. I gotta I forgot this. I did make Diamond. Um, I did make Diamond this weekend uh, with XYZ Universe against the BA matchup. It helped a lot. Uh, Phil Grand uh, for uh, Rank Eights if I needed it, and also for Universe. I couldn't find the the CXYZ uh, Ultimate Trainer. I couldn't find that. Uh, Harbinger. I did make this against uh, Monarchs. The uh, Domain Monarchs, it was just broken. Shout out to Shaman. <laughs> <laughs> um, played Lancelot, didn't make it. It was broken for the negate effects as well. And then we decided to make uh, play Pain Gainer and Seven Sins. And the reason we decided to make this, to the, the play these two, like if I had this um, on board, then I can just rank up into Pain Gainer and then rank up into Seven Sins. Seven Sins is really, really big. And then if it survived, because BA couldn't get over it, then I just use the effect banish all their monsters attach one to it, and that would have been broken. But we it never came up. Nice try though. 
and then a side deck. Uh, two Sea Turtle, two Gaming Seals for uh, Monarchs that play Majesty's Fiend and the Mirror Match. We also decided like, possibly to play this um, to get over Beatrice so they wouldn't get the float effect, um, but it just never came up. Uh, triple Flying Sea for uh, Burning Abyss. Um, I won, I just destroyed my uh, top 16 match because I drew two of these opening. Uh, the extra twin twister for back row hate. Uh, triple system down for the mirror match. I didn't play any mirrors, so <laughs> didn't make it, didn't use it. Uh, triple universe for uh, BA. I did uh, end up using it if it didn't get twin twister, but I did use it to make diamond. Uh, and triple mask of restrict for uh, monarchs, and I did use this going to it. But. That's the whole deck profile. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, uh, I don't know if I said it at the beginning, but I was the only Cosmo player to um, actually top 16. So I just played against a whole bunch of BA and Monarchs. And then the one uh, Cliff Fort, like, headed out Cliff Forts. Um, it was still tough, like, having to play multiple BA. But I hope you liked it. That's the end of it. If you liked it, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. What do you think about the deck list? Like, what were some things you would change or questions you want to ask? Make sure you leave it in the comment section below. And if you just so happen you didn't like the video, you definitely should like the video. Um, go back, refresh it, watch it a second time. We'll promise you like it then. But, alert the car, guys. Peace.